to Dre Connor. Connor comes near side to Brown. Brown with one touch and top of the key to Brandon Dupree. Far side again is Connor. Connor finds the man at the top of the key, comes near side. This is Brown. Entry pass to Dupree. Defended and knocked out of bounds by Eric Murray. And so they'll down, run the shot clock down to 19 before Towson tries to set it up again. And that's part of the game plan I talked about with Coach Dini before the game. He said, we want to deny Braxton Dupree the ball in the low post. There was Steve Weingarten behind him, Eric Murray in front of him, and they knocked the pass away. LaSalle started in a man. They'll play zone in the out-of-bounds right now. They rotated around to Fillmore, and the shot clock now down to 10 when they retreat back to midcourt. Morris has a touch, comes to the near side. Deep three by Brown. That rattles in and out. Sam Mills gets the rebound. Mills now looks across midcourt. Comes near side to Pettis. Pettis driving a kick through the hands of Murray, but right to Steve Weingarten, back to Mills. Mills between the circles, guarded in the man-to-man by Dre Connor. High post, Williams lobs it low post to Murray and foul on the play as Fillmore gets a piece of Eric Murray going for the alley-oop attempt. Interesting situation for Pat Kennedy. He has only played eight guys all year, and one which is Danny Quinn has played just twice. So he's gone with seven guys. Well, he has one out in Sean Polk, and he certainly does not want to see any kind of early foul trouble. Inbounds right to Jarrell Williams, and underneath he goes for the easy lay-in. Jarrell Williams gets these scores on the board first. Offensively, he has been playing exceptionally well at 19 points per game. He is now 59 shy of 1,000, and LaSalle quickly shows the 1-3-1. Pass fired into the corner, saved from going out of bounds by Morris. Now Connor goes back to Morris. Morris going baseline, layup Hard off the glass and good over the outstretched hands of Steve Weingarten. Sam Mills, the bottom line of that 1-3-1, gave up the baseline to Morris. You absolutely can't do that in a 1-3-1. There is no backside help for you. They lob it to the foul line for Murray. Now Williams, baseline pass to Mills. Mills runs into traffic, finds Jarrell Williams. He gets his shot blocked, but the ball chased down by Williams. This is it off the Weingarten. He goes strong for the finish. Jarrell Williams kept that one alive, and now the Explorers lead it 4-2. Williams with a bucket and an assist. Good hustle down low, and the Explorers, after a goal, going to that 1-3-1. Connor kicks it to Brown, now into the corner. Quick look by Morris, gets rid of it. Back to Connor. Skip pass to the corner for Morris again. Quickly gets rid of it. Brown and the Morris play catch in the corner. Underneath, Fillmore had a shot blocked by Eric Murray, and then the rebound controlled by the Explorers. Pettis to Jarrell Williams on the baseline. Dribbles twice, backs his man down. In traffic, up and in. Eric Murray, or excuse me, Jarrell Williams makes it a 6-2 game. Three minutes in. He's had a hand in all three buckets, scoring two, assisting on the third. Good start for Jarrell Williams tonight. As far as extend that zone now, here's Brown. Into the corner. This is Morris. Nothing going on there. So around the perimeter they go. Brown looks to drive. Turned away by Mills and Williams. Fillmore for two, top of the key, knocked it down. Stepped inside the arc and hit the jumper. Very good ball movement by Towson, and now the Tigers will extend the defense as well. 17-20 to play, 6-4, the Explorers lead here in the first half. Weingarten facing the zone, plays catch with Pettis, Weingarten again. Two dribbles, finds Mills far side. Posting up the high post is Jarrell Williams. Sweeps, looks to dribble, jumps, stops, spins, took, puts a shot up in the air, and a push hook from the right hand makes it an 8-4 lead with the six points coming from Jarrell Williams. He has shot three for four, went right after Braxton Dupree, got him in the air with the pump fake, and then just spun the other way and laid it in. Good start for Jarrell Williams tonight. Or show a 3-2 zone here with Mills at the top center. Corner is Morris. Connor. On the hash mark, asking for a pick to be set. Fillmore's going to come out and oblige. The Explorers stick with him. Williams makes Connor pick up the dribble, finds Brown. Now near side, Morris. Ten on the shot clock. Pettis in front of him. Tries to beat him. Cannot beat him on the baseline. Now spins. Draws a foul on Steve Weingarten with six on the shot clock. And Brian Morris will be on the free throw line. Weingarten giving help. Got there a little bit late. He'll pick up the first foul for the Explorers. Looked like LaSalle disguised that time, like they were going to go 1-3-1, one, one, and then when Towson came across midcourt, they went straight man-to-man. More 74% from the free throw line. The Tigers 72% as a team. Hits the first free throw. Morris out of Camp Hill, PA. The Harrisburg area, Trinity High, no school. You've seen a lot of high school games out of it. We've had a couple explorers here in the women's side. Chrissy Walker. The both programs up there, the girls and the boys at Trinity, have been outstanding over the years. Second free throws a make that closes the lead to 8-6 for the Explorers. Mills across midcourt, comes near side. Pettis to the top of the key for Weingarten. Weingarten one dribble, reverses it back. Mills fires it to the baseline, beyond the reach of Eric Murray, now to bounds. Explorers first turnover of the game. 
it's an unforced turnover. Mills just has to take care of the basketball tonight. If he can get some points, that'll be a bonus for LaSalle with the role he has to play here tonight with the Explorers shorthanded in the backcourt. Trey Connor comes across midcourt. Goes to the far side. Now Fillmore goes baseline. Has it stripped by Weingarten, but gets it back and finishes the layup to tie the game at eight. Some things are better so far with LaSalle, but the dribble penetration is not. They are letting guys get to the basket too easily once again. Pettis across midcourt. He's going to lob it too hard off the backboard and another turnover. Look for an, a lob to the baseline, but hit the backboard instead. So two unforced turnovers, and Towson looks for its first lead this time down. Near side, Morris. That pass came off the hands of Pettis. Whistle underneath. Looks like Weingarten may be hitching a ride. 15 minutes, 33 seconds left in the first half. It's an 8-8 tie. The Explorers and the Towson Tigers return with holiday basketball from Tom Gola Arena after this. NovaCare Rehabilitation is the Delaware Valley's leader in physical rehabilitation and occupational health and the exclusive provider of athletic training services and rehabilitation to the Explorers of LaSalle University. With more than 90 convenient locations in Philadelphia, South Jersey, and Delaware, NovaCare maximizes physical well-being in patients of all ages and abilities. Let NovaCare's team of professionals put you back in your game after surgery or an injury at work, home, auto, or play. When you're injured, think NovaCare first. For a center near you and a prompt appointment, call 800-770-NOVA or visit NovaCare.com. Celebrating 50 years of athletic and academic greatness, the LaSalle University Hall of Athletes salutes Robert Murrow Robert and Murrow Thomas and Conville. Conville. Only two individual crew members have been inducted into the Hall of Athletes. Robert Morrow and Thomas Conville had tons of success on the Schuylkill. These two men were the only ones to row on three Dad Vale championships in their career. They both were privileged to row for legendary coach Tom Bear Curran. Conville won 13 of the 15 races he was in during his career at LaSalle, and both men were able to give LaSalle rowing supremacy during their time spent on crew. The Alumni Association and Department of Athletics is proud to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Hall of Athletes. Join us for the celebration on Sunday, February 27th. For more information, visit lasalle.edu backslash alumni or call 215-951-1535. Welcome back to Tom Gold Arena. My name is Cale Beers alongside Steve Degler. This is Explorer Basketball. We're after four minutes and 27 seconds of play. It's an 8-8 tie between the Explorers and the Towels and Tigers. That last foul was on Steve Weingarten, his second foul. So that's going to bring off the bench. First time Tyreek Durant who did not get the start tonight. Obviously injuring a number of injuries. No tape on the finger for the second game. Remember, he had that hip pointer that kept him out of the Bucknell game most of the way. Entry pass inside. They fire it down low. Dupree with a rolling hook shot with the right hand. Puts Towson on top for the first time, 10-8. Now Dern comes across midcourt, finds Sam Mills. Back to Dern, burnt between the circles. Jarrell Williams and Eric Murray both posting up on the bottom. Turn around hook shot, wildly no good. Pettis' is put back won't go. Rebound controlled by Dupree with an outlet pass. Into the hands of Connor. Connor has trailing the play Josh Brown. They get it back to Morris for three. His shot will not go. Rebound Duran. Duran cross midcourt. Dribbles through traffic. Jump stops to the well. Up and no good. Rebound controlled by Jarrell Williams. Underneath. Got it stripped away. Knocked out of bounds. It should be. Uh, it's going to be Explorer basketball. The official is going to talk it over a little bit here. Not sure if it hit an Explorer. It did not. Tyreek forced that ball in transition.